Okay, this sort of needs to be quite flat. Yep. So, <clears throat> again, just keep working through the issue here. Uh, we're just creating this part of the palm. So I can go cut again. Let's cut some more detail in. So a step by step process. And uh, it really isn't so much more complicated than that. So I'll go yes again. I'm going to go here. Yes again means Y, repeat the tool. F9. And just continually, continually start to drag out more detail. So that's the way I like the model. I find it very free flow and very simple and effective. So you basically pick up how you want to model over the years. Edge. Um, essentially, we just sort of start working the problem like so. Move this all the way up here. And this one I'm going to put to here. Which I might just uh, join those together. And I'm just going to create one detail. Come on. Uh, let's do that. Uh, plug this two together, merge, and just sort of connect it all up. And I'll do the same for here. So, this is the gist of it, really. You just keep working and working the problem until it's finished. So you always a good idea to look at it from multiple angles to make sure you got it all correct. And bring in the palm like so. Okay. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave this tutorial pretty close to this. Um, <clears throat> Just turn it off um, wireframe on shader, just have a look at how blur it is. So it's pretty much disjointed as hell. Um, might be a good idea just to sort of just select everything and go up into our uh, polygon mode and we're going to go to the normals here. Normals are how it's smoothed out. If you go soften edge, your whole model will be smoothed out like so, except in where it hasn't been joined. Uh, areas in the fingernails, for example, if you were to just go into F10 and sort of select out these edges here, if I could select them, you can go harden edge, and the net result is have like a fingernail looking fingernail I suppose so it's not really that uh, difficult to do this so we go um, hold down control and do an edge loop I'll sort of select the ones I want anyway just put that to the selection here and just do hard an edge again I'll just repeat that process just select it now, I should better hit you on the keyboard. Nope. Oh, of course, the last repeated command was soft poly, select edge loop. And, and soften edge. I'm sorry, harden edge. So, several ways of doing the same thing. You would have noticed that I can repeat commands by hitting G. But you can also go in and select the previous commands. Okay, by holding down the shift, shift um, sorry, space bar and going to recent commands and uh, just finishing off selection like so because it's not going to work 100% all the time. And of course, we've got our thumb here. Um, should have 
finish the thumb a little bit better. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you, essentially, to really finish it off. It's all a matter of time and commitment to getting the job done. Um, but essentially, this is a pretty good baseline to begin you know, really, really going forward with the hand. <clears throat> now, of course, it's not brilliant. For me, the thumb sticks out way too much. Um, tweaking that's not too difficult, though. Um, just sort of select it and move it in. Select these vertices here. Move them in. So it's just like it can be a never ending tweak, to be honest. So at some stage, you sort of go, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm just going to sort of stick with that. Um, like so maybe it's a bit too fat or something. You can go on and on and on and on with this process. But, uh, you know, probably how it was originally was pretty much how I would like it anyway. So I think it's all right. I think maybe you can move some more pieces around and whatever. Okay, that's probably a better tweak. Pull this up and yeah, get the idea up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So save it up. But if you want to join it all together, of course, you know, you just grab it all. You go to mesh and you hit combine, which joins it all together. Then, of course, it's still not welded together. Uh, so, as I grab this vertex, you know, it's not joined. So, you know, you just select the areas you want to weld, and especially around here as well. And you just go to edit mesh and merge, just turn on your hotbox settings. Um, or you just hit merge. And especially if you use snap uh, in the operation, it should be pretty much spot on. Shouldn't be any issues at all with it welding. But you can change your uh, poly merge distance here, of course. But of course, you get this uh, effect where it welds more than what you want. But it is tweakable. But that's pretty much the process for joining it together. And I go to the edge mode. <coughs> just select these edges here. Everything but the thumb. And I'm just going to go, I mean, the, the nails. I'm just going to soften edge. And uh, go to base mode. But you know, this is going to be pretty good for a hand. Uh, you'd work on the wrist after this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you go about making a hand in a sense. Um, Use your own hand as a reference wherever possible. It really is right in front of you. So if you have any like doubts about what it should look like, you know, put your hand in front of your face and look at it. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks very much for uh, watching my tutorial. Okay, I'm out of here.